My name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at Google Meet and all its features and how you can use it to teach online. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, Google Meet is part of G Suite, but personal accounts also have access to Google Meet. There's video conferencing software that you can use to have a meeting face-to-face -face using video and audio as well as chat. Now, where can you find it? Well, the first place you can look is in those nine dots at the top. Now, when you click on those, Meet is one of the options right there. Alternatively, you simply type in meet.google.com. Now, here you can see this is my home page for Google Meet. And there are two main options. I can either join a meeting or I can start a meeting. Now, if you're joining a meeting, you either have a URL or you have a join code. But let's look at starting a meeting first. I'm going to click on this button right here and I'm going to start my meeting by giving it a nickname. Now, I'm going to call this Demo Flipped Tutorials. There we go. And then as soon as I click on continue, I'm going to be asked for permissions. Now, once you've given it permissions, you can see here, I have a preview of what the webcam sees, and this is a great way of testing everything. So make sure your webcam works, make sure the audio and sound works. And if it's not working, well, then you can always go here into the options by clicking on these three dots and checking your settings. Now, these settings allow you to change your microphone and also your video quality. So let's go ahead and click on video. And then here I can choose different resolutions. Now at the moment it is set to 360, but you can also up this depending on your connection. Now I'm going to leave it at 360 because I don't need any more than that. I'm going to click on done. Now, once I start my meeting, I'm going to click on that join now button. And this allows me to go into a room and have a face to face meeting with all the participants. In addition to that, I can share my screen later on. Now, let's say that you don't want to have that face to face and all you want to do is just share your screen. Well, then you can also use the present button. Now, the present button allows you to only share your screen without the video. I'm going to click join now. And here we go. We are now on our main page and you can see the first thing we have here is the name of our meeting room. In addition to that, we have a join link. Now, if I share that link or URL with participants, then they will be brought into this room and I can have a video conversation with them. Now, if I share this link with them, they'll be brought in and then we can have a conversation that way. I can also copy this join information or I can manually add people. Now, this is where you can now add their email addresses and then they will receive an email invitation. And when they click on that link, they are brought into the Google Meet. Now, I'm going to leave it as it is for now and I'm going to show you the interface. Now, the interface of Google Meet is very stripped down, very basic. First things first, you can mute yourself and you can turn your camera off. Now at the bottom, if I click on this icon, I'm muted. Now I'm going to leave it muted for now, but I can also turn on my camera or switch it off. Very easy. In addition to that, you have the function of adding captions. Now this is similar to what happens in Google Slides when you're turning on captions and it's automatically going to caption everything that's being said in the meeting. Now it's not perfect. It does make some mistakes at times, but it can really help those students that struggle with English or any language that you're holding your meeting in. We can also present our screen. Now this is what I was talking about earlier. You can have a meeting first and then present your screen later on. So when I click on this, I get the option to either present a window or my entire screen. Now, when I do present my entire screen, I have to give it an additional permission. Once you've given it a permission, now your screen is being presented. So you can see you are presenting your screen. I can present anything I want and then return to my Google Meet. Once you're done presenting your screen, simply click on stop presenting and you're back to your webcam view. If you want to see who is in your meeting and where your participants are, well, then you'll have to go to the top right corner. In the top right corner, we have two additional buttons. One is the participants, and this gives us a list of all the participants in our meeting. A great feature here is that you can choose to remotely mute them, turn their cameras off, or even remove them from the meeting room. Now, another thing you can do here is you can pin their camera. Now, let's say you have multiple presenters and one of your presenters is explaining something. Well, what you can do then is you can click on this face here 
pin it. If you unpin that camera, well then the camera is going to switch to whoever is talking. And it's going to give you a nice little group view and jump from person to person. The second icon at the top right is a chat. Now I use the chat a lot for questions and so when I'm having a meeting with students I'll ask them to mute their microphones and simply pop their questions into that chat room. Then when I'm addressing it well then they can unmute themselves and they can reply or respond. Now this chat is a public chat and that means that everyone sees every message popped into this chat room. Back to our main view. Now as you can see here I'm using the webcam and I'm going to click on the three dots. We see some more options. Now the one that I like using is the layout. Now when you change the layout you can have different layouts and that's the layout of your screen. Now you can leave it to automatically change or you can choose to use the sidebar and then automatically all your participants will be on the sidebar and there's a main presenter. You can change this layout at any time even during your meeting. Another one of the more advanced options is to record your meeting. This is used usually only available for enterprise accounts, but Google has made it available to the free accounts as well. So here, when you click on this record button, you are going to be recording the entire meeting and the file will be sent to your Google Drive. If you do not see this button yet, well then your admin has not switched this on for your domain. So make sure that you speak to your admin and then they can turn it on in the meet settings. Once you're recording your meeting, everyone will be notified that this meeting is being recorded and you'll see a little icon in the top left corner. Now that icon tells me that this meeting is is being recorded and then that file will be sent to my Google Drive when finished. Now let's say that you finished your meeting, you're ready to leave, you can say goodbye to everyone and then simply hang up down below. Now this means that you have now left this meeting. However, all your students are still present in that meeting so it's always good practice to just get them into the habit of having your meeting and then have them leave and then maybe you can be the last person to leave that meeting. I would love to see a feature added where I can just close down the room and nobody stays after the host has left and hopefully that's something that Google will consider rolling out soon. Now I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, scroll down, let me know in that comment section how are you going to be using Google Meet? Do you use Google Meet? Do you have any other preferred platforms? And what are the benefits of using Meet over any of the other platforms? platforms or vice versa. I'd love to hear that in the comment section and then on your way back up make sure to hit subscribe notification bell so you can be notified of upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.